It's almost time for the penultimate episode of Outlander Season 4. Episode 12's promo and synopsis are here and this is our chance to break them down. Outlander Season 4, Episode 12 is the penultimate episode. After this, we have the finale and then we're going into a long drought lander. Who else is already trying to mentally prepare for this? Before we think about what's to come in February, let's keep ourselves focused on Sunday. Episode 12, titled Providence, will pick us back up from where if not for hope left us. Myrtle was arrested, Claire and Jamie were searching for Roger, and Brianna and Lord John Gray had decided to get married. And as for Roger, he was running the gauntlet. Before I do break the trailer and synopsis down, it's only fair to give you a chance to watch them. After these, there are some teasers and potential spoilers based on them. While the Mohawk encourage Roger to become one of their own, he struggles to assimilate into the tribe and puts his ability to survive at risk. With support from one of Jamie's old friends, Brianna returns to Wilmington to confront the violent figure from her past in an attempt to find some peace. 5. Fergus is ready to protect Myrtle. The last we saw of Fergus, Murtaugh punched him in the gut to let him get away. To the officers coming to check on why Murtaugh was tying Bonnet up, it looked like Fergus was just an innocent man getting in his way. However, Fergus isn't going to let his friend rot. I did think that it seemed odd that Fergus would help Murtaugh when he made it clear he wouldn't put Marsley's life on the line back in Outlander Season 3. However, my husband pointed out that Fergus' mind just is low right now and he could be low enough to do something dangerous. I'll explain more on that later, but for now, it looks like Fergus is getting the regulators on side to jailbreak Myrtle. 4. Bonnet's story may come to an end. I'm sure this isn't the case considering the books, but right now it looks like Bonnet's storyline is going to come to an end. Could we really get two jailbreak storylines in one episode? Maybe one of the jailbreaks will be in the Outlander Season 4 finale. However, right now, Bonnet is physically chained to his cell. It's going to take a miracle to get him out this time. And the guards know he's a slippery fellow, so we'll likely want to keep an extra eye on him. 3. Lord John Gray will likely accompany Brianna. Lord John made it clear that he came to River Run at the request of Jamie to look out for Brianna. It wouldn't be surprising if he then accompanied Brianna to see Stephen Bonnet. After all, the synopsis says she goes to Wilmington with the support of one of Jamie's old friends. There aren't many other people I could imagine Brianna putting her trust in. Lord John did agree to marry her to protect her, despite her poor attempt at blackmail. He also wants to honor his word to protect her and wouldn't want her seeing her rapist alone. 2. Claire and Jamie's search continue. The Outlander Season 4, Episode 12 trailer makes it clear that Claire and Jamie's search for Roger continue. They know that they need to head north and that it could take two months. Now that the two have reunited, we could see a little less awkwardness between them. That's going to be a good thing because I really felt for young Ian in the last episode. Will they manage to get up to the Mohawk village? We'll see. 1. Roger has a decision to make. The trailer doesn't show too much of Roger, but he is definitely still at the Mohawk village. There's the odd shot of him surrounded by tribesmen. The synopsis for Providence also tells us that Roger has a decision to make. He's run the gauntlet and now he's going to be welcome into the tribe. However, that doesn't mean Roger wants this. After all, he wants to go south to get back to Brianna. If this part of the story does go like the books, there is something that Roger does that could put his life at grave risk until Claire, Jamie, and young Ian get to him.